I thought maybe if you want to film yourself doing this over the next couple of days, post it on Instagram if you manage to get through the full circle of fourths, it is I think. Um, let me know how you get on with it. The idea is just to play that legato lick through the entire circle of four. So I'll show you how I'm doing. There's like three key shapes to it, um, which is going to be in the video. But as I say, just tag me in the, what's it going to be called? The alternate legato warm up challenge. I don't know. Call the legato challenge on Instagram or something. Catch you in it. Johnny socials. Okay, so I just forgot to press uh, record on the camera, so this is cool. This is the second time I'm filming this, so that's good news for you. Uh, hopefully you're having uh, a few days off if you get a chance to. Um, guitar is what I like to do, that's why I've not really stopped doing this, because it's kind of fun for me, and guitar is not only my job, but it's what I would like to be doing anyway. So, this legato lick initially came from David Beebe on the Ain't No Body Challenge. He opened it with this kind of cool lick which started on his middle finger and went something like this to start off with and that's the basis of this lick but I thought why don't we take this and play it in a slightly less comfortable way because hopefully it will reveal some kind of issues if we have them with our legato and so I'm hearing this is either being in C or E minor so it can work for both um, but the lick is either starting on the 3rd or the 7th of the key. So in G major, if we're starting it on the 3rd, it would go like this. Or we could start it on the 7th and it would go like this. kind of implying like an A minor or a C if we're starting it from the third or, or if you start from the F sharp it's kind of implying like a G or an E minor anyway so the lick slowly goes like this so we're starting on the seventh fret on the B fret the seventh fret, seventh fret, B, C, B, A, B, C, E, G, A, B, D, B, uh, G, E, and then we're going to do a C, a D, to get back to the start. sort of thing is that you can just sort of cycle it around so it is a thing that's fairly um, kind of meditative to practice and you can use your right hand or not so if you're just practicing pure legato stuff you could kind of focus on this as like a hammer on only exercise. But don't do that in public. Anyway, so that was kind of step one. So slowly again. I was doing kind of economy picking with the right hand, you do whatever you like for that, but... But I thought if it's worth learning in one key, any legato lick must also be worth learning in the rest. So the way that I like to think about this stuff, you can either just move things across the neck but always starting on the same string. So if we're hearing that as being in C for example now, so... Play it is. And then we can take it up 
a fourth to be played in F. And then you could come back down and you say, all right, now I want to play it in D. Okay, now I want to play it in, uh, where's, what's next, D, G. And you can move along in this kind of direction. But what about if we also take it down strings, then we learn it and the shape will be slightly different because of the way that the guitar neck is laid out, but I think it's a little bit more versatile to learn it in this way. So, um, what we get, we start off in C. I want to do the same idea of playing it in F. But I want to do it here. So we get another shape, essentially. So we start on the 7th fret on the E. telling my brain a way that gets it slightly more consistent is to think about on the second string remembering that I've got to jump that third um, and I'll be on my pinky and so you could flow these into one another like this and then back Don't forget, we've also then go up another fourth. So we start off in C, then we took it to F, um, and then logically we could play it in B flat. So we're starting off in this case if we're calling it C, F, and then B flat on the seventh. So the seventh here would be the A of B flat. third shape, so we start A, B flat, A, G, and then A, B flat, D, then F, G, A, C, A, back down to the F, to the D, and then B flat, C. And so then you could flow them all together. So we start off with this one in C. And we end with that one in B flat. same piece of legato phrasing or whatever from David Beebe and then you play that in three keys but using three different kind of shapes and you've now got uh, all the material you need essentially to play that in every key and um, without just leaping all over the fretboard you can kind of be fairly strategic about it so you could say right we're starting on the seventh uh, each time so in C that would be the B and then you say all right I want to play it in E flat, uh, so my nearest kind of seventh E flat is this D. So you think about which shape are you going to need, so in the C. And then we 
going to jump to our nearest D, which is like here. So we're now on that A string shape. So we've just done two keys. Okay, what if we were to play it in B major? So we've started here. So in B, we'd be starting here. Okay, so that doesn't really work because it's not far enough away. What about if we played it in E? Okay, our closest E might be here. So our seventh. fretboard in that way so you know if you said okay I want to do it in D flat now and I'm going to be playing around up here and uh, our nearest kind of seventh D flat might be here and then I'd kind of quite quickly turned one kind of little piece of legato information phrasing into something that I can actually manipulate in each key on the guitar, hopefully. So thinking about starting the lick from the third or the seventh and then thinking about the three um, string shapes that I'd need to get it, that's kind of how I would, I am even, getting this together. So. Hopefully that's vaguely interesting to someone. The tab for this will go up on my Patreon and I'll tab out that in each kind of key um, and I'll also put together a backing track to sort of jam over uh, which will take you through the keys I think. So hopefully that's what you're looking for on Monday. Cheers. Oh yeah, the tab will be on Patreon the backing track but don't join until the start of January because you'll get charged at the start of January anyway so just wait.